for the footy show. Not exactly sure, Leon. That's the uh, bit of vision I would have used for the play on given Me our next either, guest Gary. hosted this show for the first 13 or 14 years. No stranger, of course, to this studio. We've seen him sit through games of footy. We watch him on the screen and he'd be feeling plenty of pain. Please welcome the president of the Collingwood Footy Club, Eddie Maguire. Yeah. Well done. Hello, buddy. How are you? Now, Ed, have you got a physician on standby? <laughs> I personally got a micro ambulance uh, on standby on Saturday. It was exciting, wasn't it? There was no doubt about it. It's exciting to be back here for the last show at Studio 9. It's nice <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The symmetry there. But uh, no, look, it's. Uh, it was an amazing game of football. Um, at half-time, I must admit, I thought uh, we needed to kick the next two goals to, to really get into a good position. And the Saints came out and kicked those next two goals. And I was back on for young and old. So uh, we reload and go again. It's going to be so exciting. And what a week it's been. Uh, it has been a big week in footy, as uh, yeah. our former yeah. great host used to say. <laughs> well, we want to ask you about your time throughout the game. Because yeah. the cameras never miss you. And uh, they shoot you as often as they do the uh, coaches. Yeah. And yeah. You're sitting there. And <laughs> I think that was when Leon was denied a free yeah. victory in the back. Yeah, and you, you got just the boy quietly, cranked up. <laughs> calmly just <laughs> asked the question. Son. There's your son uh, sitting Joe, next yeah. to you and, and Purdy in front. I mean, you, you just, like us, lose yourself in the contest. Oh, well, look, uh, you do. And uh, you know, being a form of caller and all the rest of it, you, you, you read the play, you're watching it, you're trying to analyse it as it goes. In that situation, obviously, Leon was, uh, it was a big moment for him to try and get into the game and to, to give us that little bit of, uh, of a spark that was required at that stage. He kicks the goal from 40, 45 metres out. It really puts us on our way. And, uh, you know, the umpire was fantastic on the weekend. So. You know, that was the one shot that uh, me probably got off my head in that situation. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you're right. You know what? It's a grand final. It's uh, sheep stations. I mean, it's worth millions of dollars. It's uh, a lifetime of ambition for the players. It's uh, 12 years, in my case, of dedication to the Collingwood Football Club for Mick Malthouse, who's uh, got, uh, you know, this game and one season to go to finish off one of the greatest coaching careers in the history of the game. Uh, the plans we have at Collingwood to do with things, you know, if we win this game, what it means as far as Victoria Park, the Westpac Centre, all these other things. Uh, you're sitting there as the president with all this going through your head and you look up and you see there's seven seconds to go and the ball <laughs> goes over the line out of bounds for a throw in. And you think, well, we're going to be back next week. So all that comes together and uh, you can imagine why the emotions are, are boiling up inside you. Well, Ed, I was going to ask you about that because all fans at the footy don't have any idea how long there is to go. In inner sanctum, <laughs> people know, obviously, yeah. the coaching boxes and... You've been around long enough, as everyone has here. As soon as you see the runners go out, you know the end isn't far away. But yeah. are you uh, yeah, well, privy to exactly how yeah, long? Yeah, well, where I sit, I can look up and see inside the St Kilda coaches box. I can see the time clock. And uh, some people might remember last year when we beat uh, uh, Adelaide, when uh, Jack Anthony kicked that goal after the sign. I could see this, uh, how long there was to go. I was counting it backwards in my mind. I think I counted a little bit too quickly because I thought the sign was going to go about four seconds earlier. And the head nearly did explode on that occasion, Sam. But, uh, yes, yeah, so I could see it was seven seconds. Knew it. There's two seconds from a throw-in. Unless it was a 50-metre penalty, we were coming back next week. Now, now Ed, uh, we, we asked, just asked Ross Lyon this. You're probably glad it didn't go to extra time because mm. they had the momentum, the Saints. You're probably glad that uh, the rules are that we come back this week. Well, as Ross said, having said that, we, we nearly got the ball out and I had yep. one on the rebound. It, it, it just waxed and waned so much during the course of the game that... Uh, I think uh, we were we, you know, we obviously had uh, the Saints on the rack at one stage and then they had a shot with a couple of minutes to go mm. and uh, both sides fought back from those predicaments. You know, to see the guys uh, lying there like that, it was so reminiscent of 1977. And, in fact, the first thing I thought of when there was seven seconds to go in the game was John Powers' book, The Coach, which was written about Ron Barassi in 1977. And as a result of that, uh, you know, we went down on the ground. They were the things that I was thinking of, of OK, what are the lessons from 77? And I thought, uh, you know, I looked across the other side where I stood as a 12-year-old in that, that grand final, watching as a kid in Form 1 or Year 7, as they say these days, Sam, and uh, <laughs> trying to remember what we could actually add to it. But uh, the boys now, had it pretty much under now, control. Now, the only disappointing thing about the whole day was that you were attributed to some statements which, oh, of course, yeah. you've denied. And, um... Yeah, but that's... Look, don't worry about that. 
I'm not, not even gonna, not even gonna go on. Think. No. Yeah. You speaking 77, 19 goals, yeah. kicking. Yeah. 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 Sammy, have a crack. Yeah. Go on, fire no, up. No, no. That, 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 <laughs> it would annoy me more than you could tell. It would annoy me more than you could It did annoy me yeah, greatly. Yep. It, uh, it cut me to the core, to be perfectly That's... honest. And look, maybe somebody thought they heard me mumbling under my breath or something like that, and reported it to Darren, and Darren reported it, and he probably thought he was reporting it accurately, but it wasn't the case, and it's not something I want to go on about. This is the most exciting week of yep. my life. I'm not going to get to. No. dragged down into those sorts exactly of discussions. Exactly right, and the 22 players are going to try and deliver the dream. Billy, who are they? Well, here they are, right here now. Bang! Now they're going to come on the side. One change, one change only. In comes Tyson Goldsack. Out goes Leon Davis. Three strikes, and you're out there for Leon. Not named as emergency either, so he doesn't get a go. McCarthy, Lockyer and Preston Giacomo are the emergencies. They still come. I tell you what you do need improvement from is the midfielders, Ed. We'll ask you about this. Swan, Ball, Penabry, Didac. Certainly need a bit more improvement there. And I like Goldsack because he can uh, run with a Goddard or something like that. He can play as a defensive half-forward, forward-type player, and also he can play down back. So he's got three strings to the bow there, Edward. Yeah, they're all good players out there, Billy, and uh, the boys will train tomorrow. They have their last training session, and uh, we'll get stuck into it. The midfielders? Oh, well, look, uh, they, they did pretty well. We led for 115 minutes of 120 games, so we weren't too far off. But, yeah, there's improvement everywhere. I mean, the Saints will look at their team and see that they've got improvement. That's the great thing about th this particular game, is that uh, it's not as if anybody flogged anybody along the way. We got off to a good start. They fought back. Uh, their stars really fired. Uh, Hayes, Goddard, uh, Rewalt looked dangerous, but at various times our guys look good. Uh, Swanee has taken a bit of a, a hit this week at times, but gee, I thought he was fantastic early on. Got the first centre break and, uh, you know, Pendlebury will get more of the ball, you'd like to think, this week. And, uh, you know, again, away we go. Mm. It's, it's one all and a draw in season 2010. Most, uh, most people think you cough the game up, Eddie. Um, but, uh, How's the, how's the feeling been this week? Has, has it, I suppose, the collie wobble stuff come in or are the yeah. players a bit more relaxed? They think they've dodged the bullet and they can go back and play yeah. play the footy that we're accustomed to seeing Collie well, play Jonathan, this year. I think that's absolute nonsense, what you've just said there. Uh, I, think really, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do. I just think that's, uh, that's uh, media beat-up stuff. And, uh, you know, uh, Caroline Wilson was trying to write that up first thing Sunday. I thought it was a brave display for our boys to be able to come back from being dead yeah. when uh, Goddard took the Gisalenko mark, as, as you know better than anyone. There's always a particular moment in a grand final that you hang your hat on, and that's the winning mark or the winning play, whether it was Dacos' goal in 1990, yeah, Jess's mark in 1970. Yeah. This particular mark to put them in front with six minutes and 54 on the clock and all the momentum, you would have thought Collingwood was gone, and you might have been able to say that maybe the... Uh, the, the young side out there wasn't able to stand up on the day. But to fight back from there, oh. to get it back inside 50, for Cloak to kick the goal and then to hold the composure in the last, I thought the last uh, uh, 20 seconds, I thought Ben Johnson's display and the kick out from Heath Shaw to get, hoik it out of the defensive 50 was nothing short of magnificent. Oh, Ed, oh, so. uh, they're saying that... Um, <laughs> A very passionate man, but they're saying the only way Collingwood can lose is their kicking ways, and we know where it's all started. <laughs> Have a look at this. Oh, no. it's... Shane. Come on, Shane. Oh, 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 Ed. Oh, if you want out Come there, on, Ed. You've got to talk us through what I, the, I was actually we, we were announcing uh, taking back over Victoria Park that day. Lindsay Tanner. The minister kicked it. He, he just stubbed his toe kicking it to me and I was laughing at him. <laughs> and I picked the ball up and uh, as I went to kick it back to him, I, I've stubbed my toe and the, the phone's come out of my pocket and the, the glasses wallet? have exploded. The... Th that thick, the bloody wallet. <laughs> <laughs> the worst was, I reckon I nearly did my Achilles. I lived for about three days after that. So that's the last I, reckon, I reckon we've asked Ed two questions that have annoyed him and shown him a piece of vision that's annoyed him. <laughs> no, they weren't meant to be annoying questions. No, not, we just not, thought you they're, might they're, have liked no, an opportunity to uh, just... Uh, Say what you wanted no, about. No, them. no, no. Yeah. Well, it's too it, exciting. We've got. You know what's is. great about this week? It, All these thousands of people who couldn't get to a grand final are going. The AFL have given four hundred thousand dollars to charity. The both clubs are going to give fifty tickets to uh, kids and people who'd never get to the game tomorrow. Yeah. St Kilda and Collingwood, respectively. It's just absolutely it is, fantastic. Fan it the is. money's coming. <laughs> and Mick, how's Mick going? Have you, uh, Mick's good. Mick, you calm? Mick's good. Yeah. Seventh grand final for Mick. His favourite number is number seven, so oh, there you go. Well, Ed. 42nd for Collingwood. Big number at Collingwood too, number yeah. 42. So let's yes. hope the uh, spirit yeah. of Darren Mullane's there in October again this uh, this week. As Gaz said, it is uh, there's amazing synergy in the fact that you kicked off this show, uh, what, 15, 16, 17. nearly 17 years ago in this very studio. <laughs> and, of course, we all yeah. know what famous television has been uh, made here as well as... Uh, 
all the millionaires and everything you've done in here, mate. So it's great to see you back. The last time we're going to be in here, but more important than that, good luck on the weekend. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. Good to be Eddie McGuire. <laughs> the Prince. Fantastic. Well done,